Unfortunately, this is yet another occasion when the worldwide fight against international terrorism has returned to Western New York. It was scary because, uh, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. We are here to announce the arrest of Arafat Nagy, 44 years old, from Lackawanna. He attempted to support ISIL. You know, you really don't know what's going on behind closed doors, you know. You never know, you know what I mean? Tonight, the fight against terror returns right here to Western New York. This is 44-year-old Arafat Naji, the Lackawanna man who stands now at the center of an international investigation. Federal prosecutors say that this U.S.-born citizen traveled twice to the Middle East, pledged his allegiance to the leader of ISIS, and tried to recruit others. 7 Eyewitness News was there early this morning when the FBI raided the Alcott Street home in Lackawanna where Naji lived with his relatives. This this is video of that raid, which you saw first here on 7 Eyewitness News at 6 a.m. 7 Eyewitness News anchor Joanna Passeri is in that Lackawanna neighborhood right now to kick off our team coverage on this major international story tonight. Joanna? Good afternoon, Keith. This is where it all happened. It went down very, very early this morning. That raid, it was a loud awakening for this neighborhood here in Lackawanna on Olcott Street. And this suspect was jostled right out of bed. Let's take a look at the home that was involved here. It's a few doors down. It's the home with the cream siding. This is 151 Olcott Street. This is where federal, state, local authorities moved in very early this morning, taking into custody 44-year-old Arafat Naji. This this has been a long time coming. Today's arrest, the culmination of a year-long investigation. But tonight, Naji locked up. He's in jail without bail. Federal officials say he was a danger to society, and they acted today because they believed the suspect may have been planning to leave the country soon. Now, let's take a look at the criminal complaint. It was released today by the U.S. attorney, detailing every movement by Arafat Naji, from trying to recruit people for the terrorist group ISIS to buying military military combat gear, all of this leading up to the arrest today. And of course, we have a team of reporters that is tracking down every detail, every development and having reaction on this terror arrest. It's all coming in today. We begin tonight, though, with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller, who has the very latest on this raid that kicked off this whole event early this morning. Well, Joanna, as you mentioned, we have been here. We were first on the scene at 6 o'clock this morning when this news broke. And this street, this Alcott Street and this quiet Lackawanna neighborhood just swarmed with FBI agents, federal officials, and now this suspect, this terror suspect, is in federal custody tonight. Unfortunately, this is yet another occasion when the worldwide fight against international terrorism has returned to Western New York. United States Attorney William Hochul talking about yet another man from zip code 14218, Lackawanna, accused of being part of a terrorist group. Police say 44-year-old Arafat Naji, who lives on Alcott Street in Lackawanna, provided material to ISIS, pledged himself to the extremist group, and traveled to the Middle East to be part of terrorist activity. Nagy attempted to join this terrorist organization excuse me, organization, and specifically pledged allegiance to it and its leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. A 28-page criminal complaint by the FBI provides a litany of information about Naji's suspected involvement with the group. Federal investigators say they've been following his movement for more than a year, but possibly the biggest tip-off, suspicious military items he purchased online. The complaint states Naji used eBay to buy a tactical vest with armored plates, night vision goggles, an Islamic headband, hard knuckle tactical gloves, a military machete, and other military items. He uh, traveled to ISIL with uh, a number of military items which uh, could be used uh, to commit violence. Another alarming issue for investigators, his travel plans, which included two trips to Turkey and one trip to Yemen. The FBI believes based on evidence found on Naji's iPad, those trips were meant to meet up with and join members of the terror group.
Like these photos, which show specific ISIS controlled areas. On two separate occasions, Nagi traveled from Lackawanna, New York, to Turkey with the intention of joining ISIL. And back here at home, neighbors and the Lackawanna community had their suspicions about Naji. Hochul says members of the community came forward with their concerns, saying he would often talk about jihad to people in Lackawanna and get in verbal altercations about his jihad. Beliefs. He did constitute a threat to those of us in the United States. So this investigation once again focusing on the small community here in western New York of Lackawanna. This is something that these residents, people living here, have been through before, but it's been 13 years since the Lackawanna 6. My 7 Eyewitness News colleague Jill Perkins has been digging more into the neighborhood here. She has reaction with how people are feeling around here. Well, Hannah, this time around we are learning that residents, neighbors here in this Lackawanna community actually played a key role in the investigation and you can imagine the panic and fear that they've been experiencing all day to learn that Najee, their neighbor, has been arrested for allegedly supporting and recruiting for ISIS. Now, 7 Eyewitness News spent the entire day in this community talking to people. We have their reaction tonight. Many residents actually too scared to even show their faces on camera. It's very scary to know that what's going on, you know, in the area when there's a lot of kids and, you know, around playing and not knowing really what's going on, you know. I called my buddy actually that lives on the street across from where it happened and he said he didn't know what was going on. Nobody told him what's, what's going on. He just seen all the police and he had to go to work. So it was just a bad scene and something we, we really don't see a lot around here. You know, it's scary because, uh, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know, because, you know, you, you judge somebody, you know, by, you know, what you see, you know, and you really don't know what's going on behind closed doors, you know, so right, it's just right. unfortunate. Yeah, many of those neighbors actually telling us that Najee seemed like a fairly nice guy. He's even been seen around the community coaching a youth soccer team. So to learn of this arrest today is very, very shocking for them. I want to bring in now my colleague, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch, who's actually been digging more into who exactly Arafat Najee is. Ed, what have you learned about this well, guy? Well, Joe, first I want to show you the 27-page federal complaint detailing meetings overseas and Twitter accounts of all things. So now the question becomes, who is this guy? Well, we just drove past his house a little while ago. He's got a Lexus SUV in the driveway and black curtains over the windows. And tonight, Arafat Naji is locked up in a federal jail. Arafat Naji often spoke of jihad and waging a holy war against people in his own community. That's according to this criminal complaint filed by federal prosecutors. It also claims it was common for Naji to fight with others about his jihadi beliefs. There's no actual allegations of violence or terrorist activity in the complaint. This criminal complaint paints a dark picture of the man Jeremy Schwartz is now defending. Naji faces federal terror-related charges for allegedly providing material support and resources to ISIS. It's not illegal to travel overseas. It's not illegal to have political opinions or religious beliefs. Not that specifically saying any one of those comes into play in this instance. We have more to look at. We've now learned Naji has traveled to Turkey and Yemen within the last two years. At one point during a trip to Turkey, he believed he was being followed and according to the complaint, he destroyed pivotal cell phone information directly connected to ISIS. He was born in, in Buffalo. He's, he's lived in Lackawanna or Buffalo his entire life. He's an American citizen. Prosecutors say he used social media, namely Twitter, to spread his ISIS supporting message and to recruit followers. This tweet, according to the government, was posted by Naji, questioning whose wisdom is better than God's, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, along with a link to a video. But just because somebody has Twitter followers doesn't mean you're recruiting people. But prosecutors say Naji conducted many searches on his iPad looking into ISIS controlled border crossings and strongholds. The complaint notes he agreed with ISIS tactics, killing innocent people because they were not Muslim. We've also been digging deeper into Arafat Naji's criminal history, and we've learned this isn't the first run-in with the law that he's had. We'll have more on that coming up brand new on 7 Eyewitness News at 6. In the meantime, Joanna, Arafat Naji is due back in federal court on Friday. Yeah, as uh, many people say, no community is immune to this, this threat. And as we look around this neighborhood just tonight, lots of young children running around, you know, not knowing really the intensity of what happened here this morning. Certainly concerning to say Yes, it certainly is. So let's recap. 
recap uh, what we know tonight. 44-year-old Arafat Naji arrested. He's arrested. He's facing federal charges, accused of trying to support ISIS. Also, the FBI raiding this home right here on Alcott Street in Lackawanna very early this morning. Investigators say this suspect traveled overseas, tried to join the group ISIS, and tried to recruit others to do the same. He was arraigned today in federal court. He is in jail without bail right now. He'll be back in court, as Ed said, on Friday. A judge saying this man is a danger to society, and that's why he is locked up tonight. His next court appearance will again be on Friday, and of course, 7 Eyewitness News will be there. 7 Eyewitness News team coverage on this major arrest here in our community continues. I'm going to send it back to my co-anchor now, Keith Radford, in the studio. All right, good. Thanks, Joanna, and our reporters out on the scene in Lackawanna today. Our team keeping you really on top of every new development in this arrest today. Again, this man's name is Arafat Naji. Stay with us right here on 7 Eyewitness News on the air, also on Twitter and our Facebook pages for up-to-the-minute information as it comes in. Every minute we're getting new information coming in on this story. Also, look for special coverage on our website at WKBW.com.